Aqua. Previously on Green Aqua. Oh, now you want me back. We either gonna shoot the epic fail in aquascaping part two, or hopefully the revenge of the fallen. Green Aqua presents the revenge of the fallen. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping and welcome back to my saga with the 120p. Hopefully this is going to be the last episode with this build, but it's the 13th of November and it's a Friday, so no one knows. Let's jump into it. We have the Fissidence Mini from GrowCap. We have the regular Fissidence Fontanus, also from GrowCap. Then Eleo Carisaticularis Mini from Tropica. Some Marcella Granata, again from Tropica. And then the Cuba, Weeping Moss, and some small patches of Ricardia. As you can see, the plant selection is quite similar to what I've ended up with the previous build filling up. And again, I'm going for the minimalistic look. Let's hope it's going to be enough and let's do this. In the Photoshop process, I've used uh, Cuba for the foreground, and then I decided to use Elatin, but I couldn't order it. No one has it now, so we are back at Cuba. My biggest issue today is that this is the full amount of Ricardia I have for this build. I'm gonna try to achieve the final look now, and as soon as I can get some more Ricardia, I'm gonna add later on. This build is getting more and more expensive with all the plants used and reused and reordered. So please support us by subscribing, joining a membership program and liking this video. That helps us a lot. Thank you. As you can see, it's much safer to work in a mask before using scent. I've introduced some ADA La Plata scent in the front. It matches the color of the uh, Cyrus stone with the colder look than compared to the Colorado scent I've used in the last build. I have some small bits of Cyrus as well to cover the holes to make sure that the soil doesn't come forward from behind the first layer of rocks. I'm gonna use ADA power sand as a substrate layer, obviously only behind the, the main rocks. So I'm gonna start to add this, then I'm gonna start to add the first layer of Amazonia version 2 to be able to start lifting the hardscape parts in the back side. As you may remember from the Photoshop stuff, I want the line of these pillars raising from right to left. So I'm adding soil to be able to lift these higher. To achieve that layered look that we've seen in Photoshop, I'm going to introduce soil in here. So 
when you look at the tank from the front, it just looks like a pile of rocks. But actually, there's a line for plants in here, and then here, then here between these, and here in the back side. So it's multiple layers, which you're gonna only see with the added soil and the plants, of course. This rock in the front, th this edge, and the top of this arch or whatever, is basically creating one line. That was the main goal with adjusting the backside. And on the other side, you can basically see the same shape, but without an arch. What I want to avoid later on, it's not perfect now because it's very evenly gradual. Since I'm using the Amazonia version 2, uh, the nutrients come in a separate bag, so I have to introduce this to the soil area to make sure that all the plants have enough nutrients from the start. I've raised the level of soil up to a point where if I look at the tank from the front, I see just a tiny bit of soil behind the rocks. That way I can make sure that when I introduce the plants, they're gonna be just about half centimeter, one centimeter above the rock. On these edges where I couldn't put enough rocks or fear to mesh, I'm gonna put some plants. As they're gonna start to root in, they're gonna stop the soil coming forward just as good as a piece of rock. Behind the line of Cuba, I'm gonna use the Hello Caris Acicularis Mini, or hair grass. It's a bit tricky when you want to build depth. It's a bigger plant than the Cuba, but actually when you make the final photo and you use a shallow depth of field, these very thin grass lines, they, they create basically a field in the distance. In person, it's not gonna give you that much depth, but uh, in photo, it's gonna be perfect. I felt this when I started that the Ricardia won't be enough, but now that I see this cape coming alive with the soil and all the other plants, I don't want to use the weeping moss because it's going to be too big. I would only need the Ricardia and I would need about 10 times what I have. So yeah, I'm going to put in whatever I have and we're going to have to add more later on when we get new plants whenever COVID lets us do it. But I need to finish my coffee first. One eternity later. Let the gluing begin. I'm done with the Ricardia, I've used up what I had. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna need any more. I just cut it into very small pieces. This way I could attach it to a lot of places in the tank. And obviously in, in time they're gonna grow. My goal was to have all the tops of the pillars covered in Ricardia, so they would create the illusion of a field behind the rocks in the distance. That's basically done. What I'm a bit worried about is that I have these heavy parts of the hardscape and these could use a bit of lightening with patches of moss, but I don't want to use other type of moss than Ricardia, so we're gonna see that later on in a few weeks. I'm almost done with the planting. I need to finish up with the sand part. I'm gonna plant the Marsilla Granata into the sand in front of the rocks just for some small details. I consider this done. I'm gonna go out and only come back when it's filled up and when I know it's in one piece. Uh, still, it's the 13th Friday, so wish me luck. You're curious, huh? Well, it's been running for two weeks now and it's still the same shape as I left it, so I called it a success. We've introduced the fish today. They are Iria Terina Verneri. They're gonna be a really nice addition to this layout. They're not commonly used in Iwagumi layouts or any stone-based layouts, um, but I think their color is gonna pop. Yeah, the plants themselves. They're coming up, it's gonna be quite nice. We had some issues with the Granata melting in the front, some of them, and also the Ricardia, since I took it to so many very small pieces, it needs some time to pick up. But yeah, that's it. It's, it I think it's running fine now and we'll see. I'm going to enter this next year to IAPLC, so wish me good luck and see you in the next one. Bye. Next week on Green Aqua. Algae Guide, version two. Get friendly with your biggest enemy. Join us for this very important tutorial on the fight against algae. Who will be the winner of the Miss Algae Universe Beauty Contest? <laughs>